Before tonight's Price is Right pricing and recap gets underway, please join me in a moment of silence for Christine Cavanaugh. She has died at the age of 51 years old in her home in Cedar City, Utah. She was a voice actress for roles such as Babe, the Talking Pig, Gosselin Mallard from Darkwing Duck, Chucky Finster from Rugrats, and Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Sports Guy 528 told me the news today, but I found out that Christine Cavanaugh actually died on December 22nd. And also for Robert Showboat Hall. He died on Christmas Eve at the age of 87 years old in his hometown of Detroit, Michigan. He was a member of the Harlem Globetrotters. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Tuesday, December 30th, 2014. Yes, today is the second to last day of 2014. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve, and that's the final day of this year. Wow, 2015 is just two days away. All right. Time to get things underway with our first four contestants that were called to come on down, and they were Mary Ellen, Mark, spelled with a C, not with a K, Linda, and Thomas. And the model that gave Drew the mic at the handoff today was the gorgeous Gwendolyn Osborne Smith, Sports Guy 528's favorite model. Our first item up for bids was a nine five piece portable speaker collection with a 32 gig Apple iPod Touch included, modeled by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds, Neil Rocks 87's favorite model, who he got to meet in person. Here are the bids. Mary Ellen, $800. Mark, $650. Linda, $899. And Thomas, $900. And the actual retail price of the portable speaker collection with iPod Touch was... $939! Thomas was the first contestant to play a pricing game. He was only off by $39. Imagine that. Thomas was wearing a shirt that read, Flew to see Drew for my 50th birthday. So, Thomas was celebrating the big 5-0 on the tape date of today's airing of The Price is Right. George Gray uh, knew something that would make Thomas's birthday even better. And that was... Him winning a chance to win up to $10,000 in cash. 
playing Grand Game. As we all know, in Grand Game, the contestant has to start off with just one dollar. And the target price today was four dollars. Here were the six grocery products. We had a 12-ounce can of Minute Maid Limeade Frozen Concentrate, a 30-ounce bottle of Clorox Ultimate Care Bleach, Ultimate Care Bleach, I don't know why I got almost tongue-tied there, a six-count box of Skinny Cow Low-Fat Fudge Bars, ice cream bars, a 15-ounce jar of Lay's French Onion Dip, wee wee, ha ha. All français. <laughs> a 36 count container of Reynolds Pastel Baking Cups and a 12 ounce bottle of Louisiana Fish Fry Products Cocktail Sauce. Thomas first went to the baking cups, believing they were less than $4. Drew said if they weren't less than $4, he's never making cupcakes again. Well, I will tell you that the price of the baking cups were $1.49. Thomas goes up from $1 to $10. Next, Thomas selected the frozen concentrate. This is the one I would have picked first, to be honest. And Drew revealed the price of that frozen concentrate from Minute Maid to be... $2.29. Thomas goes up from $10 to $100. Next, Thomas went with the French onion dip. To be honest, I was feeling a little doubtful on that. Now, Drew said that if Thomas ever goes to France, visit, he has to visit the Eiffel Tower and have some French onion dip. The price of the Lay's French onion dip turned out to be for $1,000 and a chance to win then $10,000 was $4.49 and that was the end of the game. Thomas should have chose the bleach, that was $3.19, and the cocktail sauce at $3.59. The Skinny Cow Fudge Bars, by the way, were $5.99. That was the other product that was more than $4. But for knowing that baking cups and frozen concentrate go less than $4, Thomas wins $100 for a consolation win. And including his one bid prize, Thomas currently won $1,039 in cash and prizes on his 50th birthday. So that's not really too bad. He still is having a fun time. Alright, our next contestant call to come on down was... Melissa! Our next item up for bids was an 11-piece Wustoff Precision Forge Cutlery Set with kitchen shears, sharpening steel, and block included, modeled by Gwendolyn. Here were the bids. Melissa, $40. Why she bid $40, I don't know. Mary Ellen, $900. Mark, $300. And Linda, $301. And the actual retail price of the cutlery set was $1,675. Mary Ellen is contestant number two to play a pricing game. Yes, $1,675 was the price of that cutlery set, not $40. No, no comment. 
Now, for Mary Ellen, she had a chance to win for herself a Suzuki Quad Sport Z90 ATV and a Honda CRF 125 FB Big Wheel Off Road Motorcycle. Both those prizes were modeled by Rachel. Mary Ellen's pricing game is coming or going. Now, the price of the ATV and the off-road motorcycle together is either the coming price of $6,098 or the going price of $8,906. Mary Ellen chose the coming price of $6,098. And I had a very good feeling on this price. The audience seemed to like it. Well, let's see if that was the winning price. When Rachel revealed the actual retail price of the ATV and the motorcycle by doing this, it turned out that it was... She currently won $7,773 in prizes. That was an easy win. Okay, after the first commercial break was over, the next contestant was called to come on down. That person was... I'm going to give the first and last name for this one. Vicki Thomas. Now, the reason I mention her first and last name is because her Come On Down got posted on the Price is Right YouTube channel earlier today. Why to Come On Down? She was uh, very excited. Well, why wouldn't she be? Okay, the next item up for bids was his and her Ingersoll designer watches brought down from the jewelry elevator. Here were the bids. Vicky, $1,400. Mark, $1,500. Linda, $800. And Melissa, $799. She went $1 under Linda's bid. Not the best strategy. Going 801 would have been better. Well, on to the actual retail price. The actual retail price of the designer watches from Ingersoll were $1,960. Mark was contestant number three to play a pricing game. Though, uh, Vicky felt it was her that won it. But she, uh, jumped the gun there, apparently. We have learned that Mark is from Long Island, New York, and he took exit 63 to come to the, he comes off of exit 63 in, uh, the L.I. Now, for Mark, he had a chance to win these prizes. We had a Schwinn elliptical trainer, modeled by Rachel, a 36-inch RCS propane gas barbecue grill, modeled by Gwendolyn, a 17.3-inch LED backlit displayed Cybertron gaming laptop computer, with Epson printer included, also modeled by Gwendolyn. And last but certainly not least, a new car! And it was a Nissan Cube S. It comes equipped with a 1.8 liter engine, automatic transmission, front wheel drive, and splash guards, modeled by Rachel. Mark's pricing game is... More or less. Now, starting off with the 
with the elliptical trainer. Priced at $800. Was the actual retail price more or less than $800? Mark believed that the actual retail price was more than $800. And the audience definitely voiced their opinion loudly by saying more. So, Mark chose more. And Drew revealed it was... More! Actual retail price, $1,299. Now going on to the barbecue grill. Priced at $3,700. Was the actual retail price more or less than $3,700? Mark believed that it was less. The actual retail price was less than $3,700. And Drew revealed that it was... Less! $3,248 was the actual retail price. And now, on to the laptop computer with printer. Priced at $2,500. Was the actual retail price more or less than $2,500? Mark believed the actual retail price was less. I, I felt it was more. That was what my gut was telling me. So if the actual retail price of the laptop with printer was less than $2,500, Mark would then play on for the Nissan Cube S. And when Drew revealed whether the actual retail price was more or less, it turned out that it was... Less! Actual retail price was $2,200. And now, Mark gets to play for the car. Now, the Nissan Cube S was priced at $19,500. Was the actual retail price more or less than $19,500? Mark believed the actual retail price was less, and I thought it was less too. So, if the actual retail price of the car is less than $19,500, Mark wins the car along with the three prizes he already won. If it turns out that it's more, he still has the elliptical trainer, the barbecue grill, and the computer with the printer. Excuse me. All right, moment of truth time. When Drew revealed whether $19,500 was more or less for the actual retail price, Mark said it was less, and it turned out that it was...
In Mary Ellen's first assisted spin by Drew, Mary Ellen landed on... Well... Five hundred fifty dollars. Linda, five hundred fifty 
hundred dollars. Melissa, four hundred ninety-nine dollars. Once again, Melissa goes one dollar under. Drew had a Drew had a very uh, perplexing look on his face after Melissa went one dollar under. And for Vicky, one dollar. Okay, so all four bids are in. Wow! One of these four contestants got the price exactly right and wins a $500 bonus. Yes, bad news, Barrett. The bad news was towards Vicky. I don't think this uh, TPRC carry-on designer luggage set was one dollar. But for Melissa, she could very well win it with the four ninety-nine bid since she went one dollar under Linda. I mean, that's the only way she'd have to be exactly right to get it right on. Okay, the actual retail price of the designer luggage from TPRC and the contestant who won the $500 bonus was the one that bid $500. It was Linda, though Adam felt it was him, but he bid $550. So, um... Drew had to tell Adam that he bid five fifty. He wasn't the one that got the five hundred dollar bonus. It was Linda that did. Yeah, fifty dollars over Adam was. How unfortunate. But for Linda, she got five hundred dollars. And now Linda has a chance to win more for herself. Linda's going to be playing for a trip for two to London, England. It is round trip coach from Los Angeles. For a six-night stay in a deluxe room at a four-star boutique hotel, at a four-star boutique hotel with daily breakfast included, modeled by Gwendolyn at door number four. Jolly good of her to model that prize, seeing as Gwendolyn was born in England. And Linda's pricing game is squeeze play. Now the price of this trip to London wasn't. $83,612. But we knew 8 was the first number in the price of the trip, and we knew 2 was the last number in the price. Linda chose to get rid of the 3, which was my thought, as the price squeezed to $8,612. And when Drew revealed the actual retail price, of the trip to London, England, it turned out to be eight thousand three hundred sixty two dollars. Linda should have taken out the one. That's not jolly good. But what is jolly good is Linda still has the luggage and her $500. She currently won $1,000 total in cash and prizes. Our next contestant called to come on down was... Well, George made a Three Stooges reference on calling this next contestant down. Lisa Moe! Oh, wise guy! And our next item up for bids was a Spectre bass guitar modeled by Rachel on the turntable. She was totally rocking with that bass. The bids were Lisa, $1,600. Melissa, $1,800. Oh, thankfully 
Sterling Melissa gives a very decent bid. Vicky, $1,400. And Adam, $1,000 even. guitar being $1,600. It was Lisa that was the next contestant to play a pricing game. Well, well, well. Congrats to her. She was the last contestant called to come on down. She won her way up. And she gets her $500. And uh, Lisa was wearing, a, a, like, a tie-dye shirt. Well, it really wasn't like, it was kind of like a tie-dye shirt. With a cat on, in, on front of, in, on the front. We have learned that Lisa is from Corona, California. She graduated from UCLA with a degree in anthropology. So, that explains the cat on her shirt. And now for Lisa, she had a chance to win... The following two prizes. We had a 60-inch Samsung LED Smart 3D HDTV with four pairs of glasses and one extra universal remote included, modeled by Rachel, and Kate Spade chic leather accessories modeled by Gwendolyn. Lisa's pricing game is Double Cross. Now, the numbers in the price of the HDTV in this vertical line that I'm going to demonstrate were 5234180. And for the price and the numbers in the price of the leather accessories, we had 1234863. All right. When Lisa lined up the prices inside the cross for the HDTV and the Kate Spade accessories, she had 3418 placed for the HDTV and 2348 for the Kate Spade accessories. All right, so now I ask, did Lisa win both prizes? Yes, she did! Lisa wins both prizes, totaling $5,766. And including her one big prize, plus the $500 bonus, Lisa currently won $7,866 in cash and prizes. All right. And now it was time for our last contestant to be called to come on down. That person was... Patricia! And our final item up for bids today was... Dermstore.com Ceramic Hair Care Products that were brought out by Gwendolyn and Rachel. And those at home who want a styling iron and a hair dryer from Durham Store, they can simply go to PricesRight.com and they can find out how to get one of those prizes. Possibly both prizes. The bids were Patricia $425, Melissa $550, Vicky $300, and Adam $551. And the actual retail price of the hair care products from Derm Store were $798. Adam officially wins his way up on stage 
as the last contestant to play a pricing game. And now for Adam, he had a chance to win for himself. Something we haven't seen in the second half of the show yet. That's right, folks. A new car! And it's a Volkswagen Beetle. It is equipped with a 1.8 liter turbocharged engine, 6-speed automatic transmission, Bluetooth, heatable front seats, plus paint and fabric protection, modeled by Gwendolyn. Adam's pricing game turned out to be... Switcheroo! So, along with the car, he can win these four small prizes over by Rachel. They were a Moni Aromatherapy Essential Oil Diffuser, an Aqua Zinger Infuser Water Bottle, a Hamilton Beach Two Sliced Auto Shutoff Toaster, and a Sunbeam Mixmaster Hand Blender. Now, the numbers that Adam had to place in the missing spots of the prices were 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7. Adam gets 30 seconds. And in his first 30 seconds, he placed 1 as the missing number for the car, making the price $22,913. He placed 7 as the missing number for the oil diffuser, making its price $75. He placed 4 as the missing number for the water bottle, making the price $46. For the toaster, he placed 3 as the missing number, making the price $32. And for the hand blender, he placed two as the missing number, making the price $23. And when time ran out, we had to see how many did uh, Adam get right. Out of the five prizes, how many did Adam get right? Two. He got two of them right. So now he was given the option of either keeping the two prizes he got correct or take another 30 seconds to make some changes. Adam chose to take another 30 seconds. There you go. And in his second 30 seconds... He placed 7 as the missing number for the car, making the price $22,973. He placed 1 as the missing number for the oil diffuser, making the price $15. He placed 3 as the missing number for the water bottle, making the price $36. He placed 4 as the missing number for the toaster, making the price $42. And he kept the two on the hand blender, making its price still $23. And when his second 30 seconds were up, we had to see how many he got right this time. Out of the five prizes, how many did Adam get right this time? Uno. One. He had two right in his first attempt. Now he has one right this time. I don't know about you, but I felt that one of the two he had right in his first go-round was the car. But uh, we shall see. Maybe he made a good change. We'll, never know. we'll find out. Rachel went up on the turntable to reveal the prize that Adam won. And it turned out that the one prize he got right was... The 
The toaster. He won a $42 toaster. So, now I gotta tell you the other prices of these prizes. Uh, I'm gonna go with the blender first. The hand blender was $33. So he should have placed the three. For the water bottle, the actual retail price was $26. So he should have placed the two. Now to the oil diffuser. The actual retail price of that was $75. That was one of the two prizes that he had right in his first attempt. And the price of the car Yes, Bad News Barrett. The bad news for Adam is 22913 was the actual retail price of the Volkswagen Beetle! He had it right! Oh! Oh! Oh, what a bummer! Oh, he had it! He had it! He had it! He had it! Well, Adam said that his friend told him to change it. Well, Drew said that his friend will now be his ex-friend. Oh! Oh my god, I I absolutely hate when that happens. When the contestant has the car price right and then changes it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. What a shame. What a terrible shame. But Adam still has that toaster worth $42 for a consolation win. And including his one bid prize, Adam currently won $840 in, um, in prizes. Oh, wow. Alright, on to the second showcase showdown. The first contestant to spin the wheel was Adam. In his first spin, Adam landed on 80 cents, and he chose to stay on that. Next contestant to spin the wheel was Linda. In her first spin, she landed on, well, 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 80 cents. And Linda chose to stay on that, leaving a possible spinoff for Adam and Linda. If uh, Lisa does not beat them both. All right, now on to Lisa. In her first spin of the big wheel... She landed on, well, you're not going to believe this. Ninety-five cents! Lisa has beaten Adam and Linda and is on her way to the showcase. Well, how about that? Lisa managed to get one of the four mounts that would... The, the throne 80 cents and she got it. 95 cents in her first spin. Nicely done. Okay, in today's showcase, our top winner was Mary Ellen. The runner-up was Lisa. Showcase number one. This included his and her new GNU, GNU, Snowboarding package with two pairs of bindings included, modeled by Gwendolyn. A Dev Valencia 14 karat white gold necklace that was mostly camera zoomed, but also modeled by Gwendolyn. And a 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 4x4 SUV. Excuse me. Comes equipped with a 3.6 liter engine, 8-speed paddle shift automatic transmission, and four-wheel drive system modeled by Rachel. Mary Ellen chose to pass that showcase to Lisa. Very interesting. Lisa gave a bid of $23,000. Now for showcase number two, 
Mary Ellen was bidding on prizes involving uh, saying goodbye to 2014 and saying hello to New Beginnings in 2015. We had a trip for two to Newport Beach. That is a round-trip chauffeured limousine-driven trip from L.A. for a four-night stay in a king room at a deluxe resort with daily breakfast included plus a parasailing adventure. A trip for two to Maine, that's round trip coach from Los Angeles to Portland and then on to Southport via rental car for a six night stay in an Ocean View Junior Suite at the New Wagon Seaside Inn with daily breakfast and one lobster bake included. And finally, a trip for two to Queenstown, New Zealand. It's round trip coach from LA for a six night stay in a prestige suite at a five star hotel, daily breakfast included plus a half-day river surfing adventure. All three of these trips were modeled by Rachel. Mary Ellen's bid was $18,000. For the showcase reveal, Drew went to Mary Ellen first. Mary Ellen bid $18,000. Actual retail price, $20,506. For a difference of... $2,506. She was pretty close there. Now on to Lisa. Her bid was $23,000. Actual retail price? $39,805. For a difference of $16,805. Mary Ellen wins her showcase. Well, Mary Ellen had a good day for herself in cash and prizes. She won herself a grand total of $29,279. All right, so today we had coming or going, more or less. And double cross as our three full wins. We... Gave away a toaster in Switcheroo. And as far as cash goes, let's total this up. We gave away $100 won by Thomas in Grand Game. Then we gave away $2,000 total in the first showcase showdown. Mary Ellen won $1,000. And Mark won $1,000. Well, that's $2,100. Linda won $500 for a perfect bid, that's $2,600. And Lisa won $500 for her perfect bid, that's $3,100. Well, that's how much cash was given away today. $3,100. And all of today's contestants actually get titles. Mary Ellen, Mark, and Lisa are the MVPs of The Price is Right. Thomas, Linda, and Adam are the contestant recognition contestants. Well, there you go. I did not receive any acknowledgments from Benjamin James Mason or from BJMTV B. Canada or any other member of the Price is Right Price Game Recap team for tonight's recap. So, on to the sponsor. Funding for the Price is Right Pricing and Recap this week is provided by Sonic Generations from Sega. Now tomorrow is the best of 2014. Please tune to Neil Rock 87's channel for the recap of that show. Hopefully something historic will happen. Last, last year on the best of uh, 2013, that uh, Audi R8 won in gas money. Huge, huge, huge win. So, the next time I'll be seeing you all will be Friday, January 2nd, 2015. So, this was my final pricing and recap for 2014. So, at this time, I just want to say thank you to uh, all the members of the Price is Right Pricing and Recap team, Neil Rocks 87, 
Benjamin James Mason from BJMTV Canada, Sports Guy 528, I264 shirt, J Van Diesel, oh, A Pizzle 90, Neil Rocks 87, in case I didn't say him before. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, all of you, thank you so much for all your help this past year. And, uh, also want to say thanks to Fresh Training 92 for helping out with the, the videos and the uploads. All Irish Dragon with his acknowledgments and to Gimperman as well. So, uh, once again, I'll see you all January 2nd, 2015. Until then, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Happy New Year, everybody! See you next year!